Hi, I'm Scotty Ogden, and today we're going to talk about creating a strong online presence. Have you ever tried to start some social media and you struggled so much to keep up that you just gave up? Now you don't do anything? Or are you still struggling at this? In this video, we're going to touch on understanding a strong online presence, my story and struggles and what I did, why a strong online presence is essential, and the strategies and tactics to achieve that strong online presence. Up until last year, we really had no online presence at all. We really struggled with, with that. We didn't know what we were gonna do. And we really took a deep dive last year and we did a lot of research and development to figure out what are the best tactics to start creating an online presence, what we want to acquire from this online presence and, and, and how we're gonna implement this on a daily process. When we talk about understanding a strong online presence, it's literally talking about how you engage with your audience that brings them back to looking and viewing your profiles. In this day and age, your customers are, they're gonna phone you, but they're also gonna check out your online presence. They're gonna look at your projects, they're gonna see who you are, and they're gonna engage with you online before you even know who they are. In addition to that, your strong online presence creates trust and credibility where your clients are gonna understand who you are and what you do and what you represent. I've been in the online marketing for a little over a year now, and when we first started, it was so overwhelming. It's like, what is an SEO? I don't even know. And then I realized it doesn't have to be that complicated. My online presence focuses more on who I am and what I do than it does on promotions. I am also really big on educating, I love educating contractors. I love educating homeowners. I've been in this business for 30 years. I love talking construction. So our online presence is more about just selling because we don't need to sell all the time. We want to build that character and content so that our clients, our future leads, understand who we really are. One more really good tip is showing some vulnerability. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. If you make a mistake, show that you make a mistake. If you show you make a mistake, and how you corrected that mistake, it shows credibility. It shows that you don't just care about the money, that you actually care about the end product. And lastly, when it comes to my story, we decided that we like the gold, the black, and the white. So we've been consistently, when we put our posts out there, we try to keep our branding the same. We might put a logo in, but it's always very similar in branding. Because once you get that audience, that's what they like. Don't try to change things up. Although you can evolve, but try to keep your branding very similar throughout and keep the consistency flowing. So why is a strong online presence essential? Well, definitely for customer communication. If you're out there showing your work about what you do on a particular customer's job and they see that you're posting it, they feel like your their job is essential in your business. They might comment on it and they want to see other people commenting. It's very proactive in the communication. It also speaks volumes about your branding. If your branding is out there, if you're, if you're showing your, your posts daily, consistently, eventually someone's going to see your truck drive by or your vehicle drive by or job site sign and go, I, I know that guy. I've seen him around. So it, cre it creates this branding around this recognition that you're out there. And lastly, the marketing thing is really important as well. When my customers call me, They've already checked out my online stuff. They know what I do already. They Right away they say, I've seen your work. It looks amazing. So when you post these, you have a strong online presence. Your clients really, really value that and it enhances your marketing efforts. So they don't actually call you and say, what is ex exactly you do? They already know what you do. Another part of marketing too is you might trigger a thought in one of your potential customers. They might just be looking through and all of a sudden they see the kitchen that you did or a new home they did and they went, you know what? We really should do a, a kitchen or new home. So you trigger their thought process. You get your potential customers thinking, how can I hire Scotty or how can they hire this contractor because of the services I've seen them do? So it actually enhances your marketing. Here are some really good strategies for keeping your online presence strong. Keep your brand identity strong. Make sure that your website and all your socials kind of align with 
your t particular branding, color, style, um, font, everything needs to kind of align. Make a strategy to create content. Don't just go to the job site, take four or five photos, and then post them on your socials. Think about what you want to post for the next 30 days and make a plan. Create a strategy that's going to work, and then you can monitor it. Another way to create a very strong online presence is to actually interact with other people. So what is it that you want? You want people to comment on your posts? Well, you need to go out and comment on other people's posts. So spend a little bit of time daily. Don't get lost in, obviously, but spend 10, 15 minutes. Go on other people's posts and comment and be positive. Say, hey, I really like what you did. Can you tell me more about that? Ask these open-ended questions. And eventually, people will be coming back and they will be mentioning you and making comments on your social media feeds. Be real. Be authentic. Don't be pretentious. Don't criticize people. Be authentic. Be real. You want people to know who you really are because it's, it's hard to fake it. You can only fake being a certain way for a, long, a certain amount of time. Eventually, the truth's going to come out. So be who you really are. Here's another one. Do some of the research. Learn how each of these online programs actually work. Here you post at the right time. When do people normally look at Instagram or Facebook? Is it in the morning? Is it in the a.m.? Is it p.m.? Is it before bed? Do your research and find out what works best. If the best time to post is 7 a.m. in the morning and you're posting at 8 o'clock at night, your post is only going to be seen by half your audience. One thing that we researched is you could actually do four or five posts in one sitting and then release them separate days. So you're not having to work every single day doing these posts. You're working for three or four hours on one day and that does all the posts for the entire week. Thanks for watching and if you like what you watch today and you learned something, like and subscribe to our channel. There's a link in our bio that takes you to our blog.